Have you ever been in such a big rush that when you go to pull out your phone to shoot video, you forget to turn it sideways, and now when you post it anywhere, there's just big black bars on either side of the vertical video? We're gonna fix that today in Premiere Pro for beginners. So I'm now shooting in horizontal, 16 by nine, so you won't see the black bars on either side. Now when you shoot vertical video, there are some things you can do to make it look better. We're gonna do that today, and you don't even have to be using Premiere to do this. You can be using Final Cut or really any editing software to achieve this effect. Now it won't look perfect, but it will look better than just having those big black bars on either side. This is actually really easy to fix, and we're gonna use the opening video that you guys saw to correct the issue. So this is what you saw at the beginning. This is a vertical video, and as you can see, we've got these big black bars on the side. This is what happens when you shoot with a phone, and it's standing vertically in front of you. Now, if you turned it horizontally, like you saw in the second clip, it would look like this. So this obviously looks a lot better than this vertical video. So how do we correct that? Well, like I said, it's very, very simple. There's a couple of things you can do. One of them is you could actually highlight the video. You could come up here to scale and you could simply scale it up to size. But as you see, it doesn't look very good. This is way too zoomed in. Nobody wants to see my face that close. Look at how ugly my teeth are, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, I'm not really. Uh, then you go over here and you look at this and it's got such a wider frame. It just looks much better. So obviously we don't want this, right? We want it to look more professional. So we're going to take this back out. We'll zoom out to 100. And as you can see, we've got our black bars still there. So how do we get rid of that? Well, we're going to start by pulling these videos down. And I'm going to drag this up to the second track. And now... Our original video is no longer on the track one, it's now on track two. So what I'm gonna do to get rid of the black bars is I'm going to highlight this. Quick tip for you, if you wanna highlight just the video or just the audio, you can just select option and then click it and it'll give you uh, just the video or just the audio. In this case, we're doing just the video. Now I'm going to copy and paste this clip right here. And as you can see, boom, there it is. I'm gonna drag this and drop it underneath the original video. So track two is the original clip, track one is the new clip. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on track one, we're gonna go back up to scale and we are going to fully scale this one up. And as you can see, just like that, the black bars are gone. But as you can see, we've already gotten rid of the black bars and it's starting to look better. It's not perfect. You could use this if you wanted to, just like this. But uh, if you saw this like on TV or in a really high-end video, it wouldn't look good, right? This looks way better and we're never gonna be able to replicate this, but this still looks way better than having this. So what can we do to get rid of the harshness of the video behind our original clip. Well, we're gonna go up to effects. So you click effects, you're going to look over here on the search bar for a type of blur. I don't know exactly how to say this. Everyone seems to say it differently, Gaussian or Gaussian blur. And there it is right there under blur and sharpen. So we're just gonna simply drag the, uh, the blur onto that bottom line, the new video, and it's going to pop up in the effects control panel and then we're gonna go up here, we're gonna select blurriness. This determines how much blur we're going to apply to this background. I wanna do 50, it seems like a great number. You can do as much as you want or as little as you want. And just like that, look at how much better this video looks. Very clean, it no longer looks harsh like it used to, like that. And overall, it just looks a lot better. Now you can actually change the way the blur moves. Currently I've got it horizontal and vertical but you could do horizontal if you wanted, it doesn't look as good, and you could also do vertical if you wanted, it doesn't look as good in this case. So we're gonna go with horizontal and vertical, and with everything else, you can keyframe the blurriness out, and you can even mask it. That's another video for another time. So this already looks much better than it used to, but we wanna take it a step further. So what we're gonna do is go back up to the effects panel right here, we're gonna select the search bar, and then we're gonna search for a drop shadow. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna grab it, but instead of going to the bottom, this time we're gonna go to the top. What this does is, is it creates a shadow on the original video. Right here, as you can see, it's coming off the right side. It's a very thin gray bar currently, but it's gonna get bigger. Uh, so back up in our effect control panels, obviously drop shadow has been added. 
and as you can see drop shadow has been added to the effect control panels um, just like with everything else you can keyframe all of this stuff you've got opacity direction distance and softness so for now we're gonna focus on the distance and the softness I find that 25 is usually a pretty good number and as you can see we now have a shadow over here on the right side but it's a little bit harsh so we're gonna soften it up a little bit we're gonna go over here to softness and we're gonna type in 20 and as you can see it makes it look much better and much less harsh you can even change the color so if you wanted the drop shadow to be like a red you can do that you've got a lot of options when it comes to the drop shadow but for this we're gonna do black because I think that looks the best there you have it guys just a little bit of blur some drop shadow and you've got yourself corrected vertical video obviously this looks much better than this. So if you ever shoot vertical video, remember to try this little tip and hopefully that's able to solve the problem and you don't just have to use video with black bars in it. Remember to smack that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe and that little bell up there. That notifies you every time I post a video. You don't want to forget to click that. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Until next time.